Okay, good afternoon. Is my voice clear and audible? Some of the students are online. Is my voice clear and audible? There is a chat box in uh, YouTube. There is a live chat. There is a button called live chat. You can write down. Okay, so I'm getting reply from so many students. Yes, voice is clear. Okay, for other students, is my voice clear and audible? Is video visible? Okay. Okay, so, so many students have joined and we are waiting for other students also to join. We are going to discuss on models of environment. We are going to discuss on models of environment. So that is the part of your environment syllabus, environment uh, topic on various models of environment. Uh, you may have learned that in your theory classes also. We are going to discuss about uh, some models in SALT. So shortly we are going to start our today's discussion. Before that, <clears throat> I would like to tell you that uh, I will give you an assignment online Google form assignment that is not the test, but that is only assignment that is, be, that is based on our today's discussion. And uh, this assignment link will be open for uh, uh, at least for tomorrow. It will be open for tomorrow. You can submit your answers. So please uh, attend this lecture with concentration because your answers will be coming from this lecture only. And this YouTube live, it takes about uh, 24 hours to, to be recorded on my channel. So it will be this recorded video will be also available to you within 24 hours. OK, so we are starting slowly. Models of environment here, we are going to discuss about uh, these models. Uh, let me take the pointer also. <clears throat> I will change the ink color so that it will be visible to you. So we are going to discuss about sanitary well, ceramic filter, bleaching powder, chlorine tablet, alum, water seal latrine, septic tank, rapid sand filter, and modern sewage treatment plant. Many of the topic you may have learned in your theory class also. And again, some of the topic will be repeated in this class and many things you will learn new also. So, um, and this will be available to you as a recorded video lecture within 24 hours. So you can write down in your journal also uh, after uh, watching that recorded video. So that no need to write down now, but you can write down from the recorded video also. <clears throat> so first, OK, I am waiting for some other students to join. First, sanitary well. So sanitary well, as we know that uh, wells uh, is one of the import well is one of the important uh, source of water supply particularly in past days, particularly in past days. Okay. So let me know, in, write down in chat box, what are the sources of water? What are the sources of water? Write down in chat box. Write down in chat box. What are the sources, sources of water? There is a, uh, so the students who have joined newly, there is a chat box, live chat. In YouTube, there is a live chat below your video. So you can write down in that. So sources of water that can be also, I am getting reply from yes, river. What are the sources? That is a very basic question. That is a school level question. So what are the sources of water? <clears throat> Surface water, ground water, rain water, very nice. Then rain, okay, river, pond, well, very, very nice. Okay, other other students, what about other students? I have got reply from some of the students. It is not LSEK lake, but it is lake, L-A-K-E lake. Rain, 
is the main source rain water okay what are other sources of water okay so some one of the student has written uh, surface water and this ground water so what is difference between surface water and ground water difference between surface water and ground water write down in chat box still students are joining what is difference between surface water and ground water what is the difference in quality of the water of the surface water and ground water i am getting reply from for, for previous question stored water ground water yes so my next question is what is difference between surface water and ground water what is difference in quality surface water lake or river what is difference in quality of the water between this surface water and ground water okay i am getting reply hard water in ground ground water is hard because it is coming from deep so it contains uh, it contains elements <clears throat> surface water so basically uh, hard water is uh, the water which is coming from deep that is from bore well or from deep well that will be hard because it contains this calcium potassium or elements hard elements uh, then in uh, surface water surface water is uh, actually uh, it is not hard so much hard it is but the difference is that it is more polluted as it is coming from surface so i am getting a reply from some other students also that uh, surface water is more polluted as compared to the hard water but hard water it is less polluted but it is it is coming from the ground it is hard so uh, ground water is less contaminated of fecal con uh, contamination and the replies are there okay so around 50 students uh, are there so we are starting our uh, discussion so first of all sanitary well that is one of the important uh, uh, source of water supply in previous days and uh, you may remember that uh, your grandparents your parents uh, used to fetch the uh, water from well particularly who are residing in uh, villages and uh, this well should be there are two types of insanitary well and sanitary well of course we are in public health so we should be discussing about the sanitary well can you name some of the famous wells which are there as a source of uh, which are said there as a source of water but not as a source of water but they are uh, we are visiting that famous lake famous wells it is also there in gujarat some of the famous well particularly step well <clears throat> when we go for a tourism we we, we visit that uh, well as a part of the our tour some of the famous well yes ranki wow that is there in gujarat ranki well that is the step well here in jamnagar also one step well is there uh, naugan kuo yes in junagadh it is naugan kuo it is also step well it is deeper than the ranki wow i think so so this ranki wow naugan kuo these are all step well here in uh, jamnagar there is also one uh, step well yes i am getting reply adalaj yes adalaj wow then in jamnagar if you have visited uh, that uh, temple hanuman temple which is opposite to the medical college uh, in hanuman temple also there is one step well and uh, step well was uh, one of the import, uh, important source of uh, contamination it was spreading guinea worm disease so, so in uh, india government has banned using step well and uh, so the apart from the step well there is a well which from which we can fetch the water with the help of the hand pump or with the help of the string so in san sanitary well means the well which is made up uh, in a sanitary manner which is made up in sanitary manner so this is one of the example one of the model of the sanitary well uh, in your exam in your squatting exam this type of the model all these models can be asked in your squatting exam and uh, in this presentation i have kept uh, uh, photographs uh, of our museum as well as photographs from other sources so you can identify these uh, photographs and uh, whatever questions are there based on this photograph you can answer that okay for the students who have joined uh, in the last some minutes uh, that after this lecture uh, i will be giving you uh, one google form for online assessment online assignment not assessment it is not test it is only assignment it is mixture of uh, mcq as well as short question here there is no marking system only you have to answer this mcq as well as short question based upon the discussion of today based upon today's class and this class will be available as recorded video in youtube within 24 hour youtube actually 
takes this live video to be recorded uh, to to be processed for uh, 24 hour text processing time of 24 hour at least so it will be available within 24 hour and this link will be open for uh, tomorrow also i will give you the time if it is not available tomorrow this recorded video then i will be keeping this link link for longer time also for two days also depending upon the availability of the recorded video so you have to submit that assignment also <clears throat> We are discussing about uh, this sanitary well, and this is one of the another photograph of sanitary well. You can see that uh, it is covered. So we are covering is there. Then uh, there is uh, inside this well. This is the inner side of the well, and that is made up of the stone and brick. The lining are made up of the stones here, stones or bricks. Then uh, uh, here the water is fetched with the help of the hand pump. Usually, what we uh, what we see in case of the sanitary well that uh, water is uh, fetched with the help of the uh, container, some container like uh, what we use in case of the, our household container. Uh, then it is to be tied with the rope, and with the, with the help of the rope, uh, we fetch the water uh, outside the well. So apart from this, there is pa parapet. The upper part of this uh, lining, it is parapet. And uh, the, this well is also covered with uh, uh, platform. Here, platform is there. And you can see in this uh, photograph that platform is in, in slope direction. It is downward slope. So whatever the water is uh, there over the platform, it can be drained easily. This is one of the models. So here, this model is there in museum, in PSM museum. And uh, if you, this photograph is kept, uh, this is actually sanitary well. And there is also one model that is in sanitary well. So we have to focus on sanitary well. This is in sanitary well. So some of the dis uh, to, uh, uh, discussion about sanitary well, it can be asked in your theory exam also as a uh, short note. So whatever is discussed over here, it can be written. So it is one which is properly located. So location of the well is very important, first of all. So based upon the location, it should not be less than 15 meter from likely source of contamination. So if, if there is a drainage, if there is drainage of the contaminated material, like wastewater is drained, like a sewage water is drained, or the toilet water is there. So from this bad contamination, it should be at least 15 meter away. Well should be digged at least 15 meter away. It should be well constructed that we are going to see in uh, later part, then protected against contamination. It should not be contaminated. It should be covered. We have seen in the previous photograph that uh, well is well covered. And uh, contaminated uh, vessels could not, cannot be, should not be used. Actually, to prevent the contamination, uh, the people should not bring their own vessels for fetching from the downward. Only one vessel or one bucket should be kept, uh, which is there inside the well uh, tied with the rope. And from that bucket only, uh, the water should be uh, fetched into the vessels which has been brought from the home. So vessels which were brought from the home should not be kept uh, down lowered into the uh, sanitary well and to prevent contamination again second thing is it should be it should be covered as well as the timely chlorination of the well is also necessary so in location also it should be uh, located at the higher elevation uh, located at the higher elevation with respect to possible source of contamination from the ground it should be at a higher level and distance between well <coughs> and house of the user should not be should be should not be more than 100 meter means it should be accessible to all so distance between any house in the village from the well should not be more than 100 meter so that is one of the important thing uh, then second lining lining of the well as we have seen in this photograph that this is the lining and it is made up of stone and brick so it should be um, a stone and brick it should be at least six meter so that the water enters from the bottom what happens that in well as you as you know that water is self-perpurating from the lower level of the ground right so it is self-perpurating so water should not be allowed for, to go inside the well from the surface it should not be allowed to go from the surface it should be coming from only bottom bottom so for, for that purpose this lining is capped and not from the side it should not it should be carried uh, 60 to 90 centimeter two to three feet above the ground level also so above the ground level also here you can see that above the ground level this lining is there this is the part which is above the ground level so this lining is there and uh, uh, for 
<clears throat> so second thing is parapet wall there should be a parapet wall of height of at least 70 to 75 centimeter what we call it is similar to this uh, lining which is uh, going above the ground level and platform we have seen that in uh, well in in the uh, in this photograph that there is a platform all around the well and it should be extending at least one meter three feet in all direction and this platform should be having the slope downwards it should be towards the drainage built uh, so that it the water whatever their water is there it can be easily drained apart from this point drain that should be a pakka drain in the uh, to carry up the spilled water to a public drainage system so whatever drainage is there whatever drainage is there it should be from this drain it should be carried out to a public drain system so it is it should be also pakka drain let me see that how many students are there already 62 students are there i'm waiting for other students also then covering the top of the well should be closed by cement concrete this covering should be made up of the cement concrete uh, because the bulk of the pollution it is introduced into the well through the open top hand pump pnc in but uh, not we don't commonly observe this hand pump usually uh, water is drained from water is fetched outside the well with the help of the rope we already know about that uh, consumer responsibility that uh, it is responsibility of the public to maintain the con uh, uh, cleanliness of the well so washing of the clothes washing of the animal then bathing of the animal and dumping of the refuse and wet should should be prohibited around the well some people used to wash the clothes we usually see in the villages but it should be it should not be allowed water quality frequently water quality according to water quality criteria uh, according to this physical criteria uh, chemical criteria bacteriological criteria and that quality of the water should be frequently checked by gram panchayat or if it is there in uh, nagar palika it should be checked by the uh, nagar palika so uh, if we have to assess that whether it is of acceptable standards or not uh, you uh, there is a different class on uh, water quality criteria you must have learned about that or you will learn later also so to man maintain the uh, criteria of the quality of the safe and wholesome water this water quality criteria are there so that is all about uh, sanitary well yeah it can be asked in your short note also so you can write down all these points in short note also then second thing is filter so apart now uh, apart from this uh, uh, well as we know that uh, and there is there are other sources of the water and all sources of the water which are from which uh, water is coming uh, it should be filtered it should be filtered so there are two methods of the filtration as we know uh, filtration at the large scale large scale filtration whenever the water is coming from the city or from village area or into the nagal parika area corporation area so that is filtered by large scale filtration can you name name me the techniques of large scale scale filtration what are the techniques of large scale filtration write down in chat box write down in live chat what are the techniques of large scale filtration techniques of large scale filtration <clears throat> write down in chat box what are the techniques of large scale filtration of the water how in large scale water is filtered i am waiting for your reply what are the techniques of large scale filtration of the water Okay, I'm getting a reply. Chlorination. Chlorination is not filtration. It is the chemical treatment. Chlorination is not filtration. It is not filtration. It is part of this large scale filtration. It is chemical treatment. UV treatment is also not filtration. Sedimentation, chlorination. No, these are not filtration. Yes, I'm getting some right reply. Uh, rapid sand filtration and slow sand filtration. Yes, storage. It is part of this rapid self sand filtration. Okay, so rapid sand filter and slow sand filter. These are the techniques of technique of uh, this large scale filtration uh, by putting clothes. I am getting the reply by putting clothes. So it is training. Training is at the small scale filtration. Disinfection, straining, uh, disinfection. Again, it is not method of filtration. Coagulation. It is the part of this uh, uh, rapid sand filtration. Okay. So uh, ceramic, so ceramic filter. So we, we are using many types of the filter at the household level. So 
uh, that what we have discussed that uh, this rapid send and large, uh, slow send filter it is the technique of large scale filter now at the household level at the small scale filtration we are using some of the filter here like one of the example best example here is ceramic filter you may have observed such type of the candle filter what we call a candle filter in hostels usually ug student used to use this candle filter it is made up of the stainless steel it is made up of stainless steel and uh, two barrels of the stainless steel are there over one barrel uh, in uh, uh, the barrel which is above at the higher level at there one or two candle there are two candle filter three candle filter or uh, one candle filter which are available so there are types of this ceramic filter it is burk filled filter pasture chamberlain filter and cotton filter so these are essential part of the filter is candle this essential part is candle which carries out all filtration and it is made up of the porcelain in case of the chamberlain type and in case of the uh, burk filled filter it is made up of this kishal grow or infusion earth so this is uh, this words you may be hearing for first time kishal grow or this infusion earth this is a smoke somewhat uh, white powder like in case of this candle which is uh, this porcelain white powder uh, kishal grow or infuser earth uh, which allows for filtration <clears throat> so in cotton filter the surface of the filter is coated with the silver catalyst so that bacteria coming into the contact with the surface are killed by oligodynamic action oligodynamic action of the silver ion which is liberated into the water so apart from the ceramic filter at household level what some students have mentioned uh, that is training by cloth it can be also used as a method of filtration apart from that we are using some of the filter which is having multiple layer of the sand multiple different color sand that filter is also being used at the household level and this uh, 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 from this simple filter these are the simple filters some of the filters which use uv rays uh, you have you may be watch, uh, watching the advertise of the, some of the filters again uh, filter should not be mistaken with the ro system ro system is different it is reverse osmosis so he, in case of the filtration uh, only filter technique is filtration well in case of the reverse osmosis it also removes hardness of the water so whenever your uh, tds that is total dissolved solid of your drinking water is more than 500 again i repeat whenever the total dissolved solid that is tds of your drinking water is more than 500 ro can be used if it is less than 500 then simple filter can be used because uh, ro system has the removal capacity of the removal of uh, 90% of the tds so whenever the tds is more more than 500 it it is advisable only at that time to use the ro uh, how can you measure this tds you may have observed that uh, with the persons who are uh, selling this ro uh, their executive come to you and they dip down one uh, device some thermometer digital thermometer like device and it can easily give the reading so that is tds can be measured by that manner and uh, there are some filters which are using ro plus filtration ro and filtration both so limitation of this ceramic filter is it, it uh, usually removes bacteria found in the drinking water but not in the filter passing viruses so bacteria are removed but viruses cannot be removed candle now one of the drawback is there it, it, it is there which every type of the filter even in the large scale also the air clogging or candle can be lodged with the impurities and bacteria it should be frequently uh, which cleaned by scrubbing with the hard brush so this candle should be open and should be scrubbed in each each and every type of the filter mostly in small scale as well as in large scale also and the cleaning process is necessary and the large scale filtration back washing process is what we call as cleaning process again that is the photograph of the burk filter and you can easily identify this candle this is the candle now third part is bleaching powder third model of environment is bleaching powder till now we have talked about the sanitary well and this filter bleaching powder so uh, nowadays you may be hearing the name of the bleaching powder so often can you tell me the use of bleaching powder yes i am waiting for your reply what is the use of bleaching powder some more students have joined what is use of bleaching powder you can ask other students in your group also to join that our session is going on it may be interesting also for you for all of you so what is use of bleaching powder write down in live chat 
our third model of environment is bleaching powder nowadays you may be hearing the name of the bleaching powder frequently so getting i'm getting reply uh, remove stain of the cloth that may be different thing pull out of the oil of the cloth disinfectant yes which is very right this is a disinfection fluorination oxidizing agent so basically to for a uh, disinfection of the water for disinfection of the surface is also it can be used so it is white amorphous powder with uh, pungent smell of the chlorine so it contains chlorine bleaching powder it is one of the preparation of chlorine and it should be freshly made bleaching powder should be freshly made it contains 33% of the available chlorine remember that this question is being frequently asked in your viva as well as in your mcq that bleaching powder contains 33% of the available chlorine so in case of the 100 gram of the bleaching powder 33 gram of the bleaching uh, chlorine is available we can say that and uh, this available chlorine is high unstable it is unstable compound so it should be freshly prepared so on exposure to air light and moisture it rapidly you loses its chlorine content that's why this bleaching powder is to be made freshly so when mix with excess of the lime now remember i am going to describe you another term that is stabilized bleach that is also being frequently asked in your mcq as well as in in case of your viva so whenever this bleaching powder when it is mixed with the excess of the lime it retains its strength and it is called stabilized bleach so it so for the retention of the strength for the retention of the strength of the chlorine here excess lime excess lime is to be mixed frequently and to make it stable as you know that it is unstable compound on exposure to air and light it loses its chlorine content so we want to make it stable so stable it is called stabilized bleach so to make it stable we have to excess you uh, we have to add excess lime into it so that is stabilized bleach and uh, as we know that uh, on exposure to air light and moisture it loses its stability so it should be stored in dark cool and dry place in closed container dark cool and dry place in case in closed container in many of the pharmacological drug you may be also hearing that it should be it is supplied in case of the amber color bottle many cough syrup are supplied in amber color bottle one of the example i can give that thyroxine it is supplied in amber color bottle so to prevent exposure to sunlight and to um, prevents prevent it from unstable being unstable principle in chlorine is that to it is to in chlorination is that to ensure a free residual chlorine of 0.5 mg per liter at the end of one hour contact period that you may have learned in your uh, classes of this uh, water filtration as well as the, the chlorination and chlorination is itself is a separate topic uh, which is it can be dis discussed separately so this is to remember that a free residual chlorine of 0.5 mg per liter should be available after the process of the chlorination at the end of the contact period of one hour and dose of the bleaching powder is 2.5 gram per 1000 liter remember this can be also asked in your mcq dose is 2.5 gram per 1000 liter means for 1000 liter so first of all whenever we are uh, preparing for the chlorination of any container suppose for chlorination of the well we have to assess how much how much quantity of the water is present inside any container in case of the well also we have to assess and as you know that uh, for chlorination of the uh, water of the well we have to uh, apply the formula that is pi r square h pi r square h and uh, after we can so can so that we can uh, have the assessment of the volume of the well and from that volume we can assess the volume by multiplying 1000 that is will give that we will give a uh, volume of the uh, water which is present in well in liter and here dose is 2.5 gram per 1000 liter now third is chlorine tablet so chlorine tablet it is being uh, supplied free of cost from the phc as well as urban health center and uh, as the name is tablet it is not to be taken orally right so don't to be mistaken with uh, oral tablet and it is used for disinfection of the household water there is certain process there is some certain there are certain steps how this chlorine tablet should be used it is not so easy that we have to just uh, uh, put the tablet inside any container inside our in, uh, our earthen matka or anything else any other vessel we are what we are using so there is one uh, instruction first of before that a single tablet of the 0.5 gram means 500 mg 
it is sufficient to disinfect ventilator of the water remember this con this quantity also 0.5 gram that is 500 milligram of the single tablet it is sufficient to disinfect 20 liter of the water our earthen matka or our vessels generally they are containing around 20 or depending upon the size it may be containing more also so instruction for the usage usage uh, first of all we have to place or crush the tablet in glass or a cup first uh, take one glass and in that glass we have to place the tablet and then we have to add some water into it and mix water into it and mix that is somewhat similar to the process of preparing ors solution first of all we have to prepare the suspension ors suspension and then previously if you some of you have attended our uh, uh, nt malaria month class that is mosquito uh, control measure class in that also we have uh, uh, discussed about uh, preparation of the irs solution in that we have also seen that 250 gram of the irs is to be taken and first one liter water is to be made so here also in one tablet put it into a glass and add some water into it then so that it will be mixed and it will be made as a suspension and this suspension or the solution is to be added into 20 liter of the water pot right so not directly we are adding the tablet into water pot again i repeat take a tablet into a glass add some water mix it and this solution is to be poured into the 20 liter of the uh, pot so keep for one hour for chlorine action as we know that we have to there is a contact period of one hour so after one hour only we can use this water that contact period means that is the time for the chlorine to act time for the chlorine to kill the organism time for the chlorine to disinfect the water that is contact period then alum our another model of environment is alum we are almost halfway mark of this class Elam, as you can see from this uh, photograph, that uh, it looks like uh, uh, it is uh, in Gujarati name, uh, Patakadi, what we call as Patakadi, and it is the one of the popular source of disinfection of the water, popular method of the disinfection of the water, which is being used since many decades, since many years, we can say. And this chemical coagulant, it is a chemical coagulant used for coagulation of the raw water in rapid sand filter, but Till now, it was used for rapid sand filter. Nowadays, in place of the alum, in place of the alum in rapid sand filter at the city level, what we call as water filter plant, they are using PSEL. Remember this name well, it is not given in your textbook also. PSEL, in place of the alum for coagulation, PSEL, our next, of, next model of environment uh, after some models, it is rapid sand filter. So, full form of the PSEL is polyaluminum chloride polyaluminum chloride so uh, as compared to the alum polyaluminum chloride is easy to handle easy to mix and easy to be used so they are using polyaluminum chloride so dose of the alum varies from 5 to 30 milligram or more per the liter and it again depends upon the turbidity if there is more turbidity and uh, more dark color and also TPH value, temperature, in case of the more turbidity, dose of the alum or dose of this PSCL should be increased in case of the rapid sand filter. So our next uh, uh, model of environment that is rapid sand filter, rapid sand filter and uh, there is also a field visit which is there on uh, rapid sand filter plant. Uh, that is the filter plant of the large scale purification of the water so in case of the rapid sand filter usually the source of uh, water supply is river source of water supply is river in case of the city jamnagar uh, source of water supply is aji from the aji river as well as uh, the water supply is coming from the narmada uh, narmada and aji these are uh, mainly Narmada, Aji is for Rajkot, sorry, I am mistaken. Aji is for Rajkot and here in Jamnagar from Narmada itself uh, water is coming. In case of the monsoon season, whenever the Ranjit Sagar Dam, it is full of water, uh, water from the Ranjit Sagar Dam is also being used in Jamnagar. So from Narmada or for Ranjit Sagar Dam, uh, the water is coming to water filter plant. Uh, uh, in water filter plant, uh, that is, uh, they are using rapid sand filter. Uh, as we know that uh, before uh, first part of the treatment first treatment is mixing alum but here in in place of the alum in filter plant pacl polyaluminum chloride is mixed 
and uh, that mixing results in in mixing chamber it results in per formation of the coagulation coagulation after that mixing after that mixing water is subjected to flocculation chamber flocculation chamber so in flocculation chamber uh, here uh, it can be uh, the flocculated with the help of the motor device there are the some pedals there are pedals which flocculate the chamber so here rep alum is mixed properly alum is or i mean to say pscl plcl is mixed properly in flocculation chamber and these pedals are operated by motor electric motor rapids and filter itself is a different topic to be discussed in a different class so i am going uh, speedily with the special steps so after the flocculation chamber water is subjected to sedimentation tank as the name suggests sedimentation so here water is allowed to be sedimented for 6 to 8 hours uh, detention time is 6 to 8 hours and sedimentation will result in um, sedimentation of the large uh, heavy particles over the downward after that from the sedimentation so whatever the sediment is received it is to be drained from the below part and it is subjected to filter there are filter beds there are multiple filter beds in water filter plant from that if this filter bed is made up of such this is the filter bed section of the filter bed it is made up of the filter sand coarse sand fine gravel coarse gravel so water is passing from all this type of the gravel and sand and these are the pipes these are the perforated pipes from which filter water is drained so this filter bed and after passing from the filter bed final part of the treatment is chemical treatment that is chlorination water is subjected to chlorination here in rapids and filter in water filter plant most of the water filter plant is using are using chlorine gas chlorine gas as a part of disinfection and then this uh, water is subjected to use but before consumption i mean to say they are supplying water filter plant are supplying to the uh, to the respective city area there are one or more water filter plant depending upon the city uh, suppose in raj uh, suppose in jamnagar there are two or three water filter plant in rajkot also there are uh, three or more uh, water filter plant so they are su uh, su supplying to their designated area and for the supply after chlorination water is uh, water, water is uh, taken over the higher level higher elevated tanks you may have observed that elevated tanks are there in villages as well as in city from the elevated tank with the help of the gravity uh, water is being supplied to a different part of the area uh, or the designated uh, uh, city area so in rapid sand filter Uh, this some of the photograph real photograph of the real rapid sand filter this is the chamber sedimentation tank sedimentation tank and this pool it is moving with the very slowly uh, all round this pool is moving very slowly so it, it helps in sedimentation these are the filter beds there are multiple such filter beds water is below below the water level below the water surface there are filter beds this there are such many such filter beds and in rapid sand filter also there are two types gravity type it is also another time is petersen filter or pressure type it is candis filter so these are the steps which we have already discussed coagulation coagulation with the help of the pscl polyaluminum chloride then rapid mixing flocculation sedimentation and filtration in filter bed we have discussed all these things another uh, model of environment is water sill latrine water sill latrine as the name suggests water sill you may have you may have observed in your latrine that uh, there is a constant presence of water so it, this water serves as a as sill and so it is water sill and uh, advantage of the water sill is that it prevents excess of the fleas excess by fleas so fleas cannot go inside this latrine as well as uh, it also prevents uh, uh, unpleasant smell unpleasant smell is coming which 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 can be coming out from the connecting pipe or from the septic tank because of the water sill latrine it may not be coming to uh, to us and it prevents escape of the odor and foul gases what we have already discussed so it is the distance between level of the water in the trap trap as a yes you know that that is the part of the water sill latrine trap pan and so these are the parts of the connecting pipe and lowest point in the concave upper surface of the trap so what happens that in case of this uh, connecting pipe between this connecting pipe and trap in the in the name itself is trap so water is trapped here, here over here 
so in uh, uh, how this tap is made up here it is u shaped u shaped right so whatever water is coming inside this in the inside the u part it will be trapped and which will be working as a water seal there are two types of this water seal latrine remember the short form, uh, full form of this can be asked in your uh, exam frequently prai type and rcl rca type so most commonly we have this rca type of the latrine uh, that is research cum action uh, full form of this rcl is a research cum action it is Uh, project in environment sanitation of the ministry of the health government of india and prai that is planning research and action institute lucknow so india has developed this rca and prai type of the latrine these are water seal latrine again this is the photograph of the model of the rca latrine you can see this is connecting pipe this is septic tank and this latrine here there is a, a water seal inside this pan again this is water seal how this seal works this is u shape where water is being trapped be between this connecting pipe and in this pan there is u shape again this is the uh, photograph of the museum rca latrine then next is septic tank so in water seal latrine as well as uh, for the uh, disposal of the excreta and liquid waste from house from dwelling the septic tank is being made made up of uh, uh, and this in this septic tank uh, they, uh, it should not have the access to the public sewer system solid in the septic tank settle down in form of the sludge so this is important terminology sludge whatever the solids which settle down into the septic tank is called sludge uh, while uh, lighter slow solid uh, including this grease and fat rise to the surface it is called scum so in septic tank in deep part there is sludge and over the surface it is scum sludge is made up of the solids and scum is made up of the grease and fat which rise over the surface so liquid which passes out of the uh, which uh, that can pass out of the outlet pipe from the time to time it is called effluent so three terms we, there are here are there in septic tank sludge sludge is the solid part which is uh, sedimenting downwards scum which is coming over the surface which is made up of the grease and fat and the effluent so whatever the liquid is remaining liquid is there which is passing from the septic tank to the other drainage system public drainage system it is called as effluent so that is the model of septic tank again you can see that in model in this model there is sludge then this scum over the surface and washed water or effluent so from the septic tank after this sludge and scum has been developed after the sludge has settled down and scum has developed this this waste water effluent it is going into the uh, drain field again this is the model of uh, uh, septic tank which is kept in museum you can see that from the uh, latrine through this connecting type pipe into this septic tank water is coming and this is whole septic tank now our uh, uh, next part is modern sewage treatment plant we have discussed about filter plant and then sewage treatment plant so whatever excreta or whatever uh, sewage that polluted water of the city is uh, uh, draining so that drainage should not be allowed to be mixed directly into the river or into the sea uh, before mixing into the river before allowing it to, to be drained into the river it should be subjected to treatment and that treatment is carried out at the city area by sewage treatment plant modern sewage treatment plant so uh, this sewage treatment plant that uh, uh, that is the this is the model of that there are there is primary treatment and secondary treatment so in primary treatment just i am reading the names of the parts of the sewage treatment plant screening first of all screening then grid chamber then primary sedimentation tank then this biological treatment before this primary sedimentation the sludge digester also final sedimentation tank and chlorination and sludge digester methane gas and sludge drying bed so we are going to see each one by one first of all whatever uh, sewage is coming from the city it is it is subjected to screen these screens are made up of the uh, metal bars that can be vertical as well as vert vertical bars as well as it can be also transverse bar or it can be mixture of that i am going to show the photograph of that screening so that is these are the screening bars what is the purpose of this bar is first of all whatever uh, large size impurities are there 
in form of uh, this in form of the waste papers or in form of the waste any waste material which is larger than this bar so this large impurities are subjected to screen it is not allowed to pass into the further chambers so that is purpose of screening and there is one curvilinear belt uh, so whatever this um, uh, large impurities are there they are falling over the curvilinear belt it is not shown in this photograph so this curvilinear belt it it, uh, it it removes this large impurities outside of the screening bar that is uh, same curvilinear belt as we have seen in case of the airport a similar similar design like that so first part is screening then there is grid chamber so in the grid chamber uh, whatever uh, part so this grid whatever the sewage which is filtered from the screen chamber that is subjected to be uh, removed uh, allowed to sediment so here also sediment through sedimentation there is a suspension of this larger solids so here larger solids larger uh, molecules that suspend in downward part so it will be it will be forming the grid and the grid is removed so that is grid chamber after that there is primary sedimentation tank so primary sedimentation tank it looks like somewhat similar to that this is primary sedimentation tanks there can be depending upon the sewage treatment plant there can be one or two primary sedimentation tank also in rajkot uh, what uh, sewage treatment plant there are two primary sedimentation tank so here as the name suggests sedimentation water is allowed to remain detained for this 6 to 8 hour period and, uh, and the, so that it will allow to sediment the larger impurities so larger impurities again it will be uh, sedimenting and one of the uh, two important indicator of the uh, this sewage treatment plant are biological oxygen demand and chemical oxygen demand so because of this uh, grit removal because of the sedimentation biological oxygen demand it may be falling less than 50 percent may be falling almost 50 percent fall of the biological oxygen demand is there so as you know that if more biological oxygen demand of the water is there it will be uh, more impure so impurities lead to organic matter presence of the organic matter in the water leads to increase in the biological oxygen demand our objective in the uh, screening in the sedimentation tank as well as in whole of this uh, sewage treatment plant is to reduce the biological oxygen demand uh, suppose there is high biological oxygen demand of any sewage water and if we directly allow it to go into the river so it will consume it will lead to consumption of the oxygen present in the water so it will be harmful for the aquatic animals as well as aquatic plant so we have to our objective is in the sewage treatment plant is to reduce biological oxygen demand so after the primary sedimentation tank in in primary sedimentation tank whatever uh, sediment is there it is known as sludge and this sludge is being taken into the sludge digester so role of sludge digester is that it will uh, digest the sludge and it will reduce the quantity of the sludge so that it will it will be easy to dispose if the uh, quantity of the sludge is reduced uh, disposal of the sludge will be easy and it will be subjected to the sludge drying bed there are large beds i mean to say there are large area this uh, the uh, beds are nothing but area large area into which the sludge is being uh, allowed to dry so whatever uh, uh, sediment whatever remaining upper part of the sewage is there it is subjected to uh, secondary treatment in secondary treatment it includes uh, biological treatment so in biological th treatment there are two methods that is one is trickling uh, filter method and second thing is activated sludge process and trickling filter method actually the name filter is here misnomer again it is biological treatment here the use of uh, building up of the zoog layer layer as in case of the rapid sand filter there is also formation of the zoog layer layer so here uh, which is made up of the algae fungi and which also uh, reduce the biological oxygen demand there is nothing like filtration trickling filter method is there but there is nothing like filtration removal of the oxygen biological oxygen demand with the help of the zoog layer layer but uh, in modern sewage treatment plant this apart uh, in place of the trickling filter there is use of the activated sludge process so in activated sludge process there is aeration aeration is being carried out aeration is being carried out with the help of the fans in in there are separate chambers for this uh, there are separate chamber uh, which is available for the activated sludge process in these chambers and there are fans with the uh, some some part of the fans it is not like our common fan which is there over in our room um, the, so the some part of the fan is uh, touching the uh, surface of the water 
so whenever the fan is moving the water will be water will come into the air contact with the air and so the oxygen will mix up with the water and this oxygen will lead to the growing of the bacteria and this will reduce the, um, the re reduce the biological oxygen demand so in this after this activated slug process there is final sedimentation tank so remember that in case of the uh, modern sieve treatment plant in both primary treatment as well as in secondary treatment <coughs> there are uh, primary sedimentation and sedi secondary or final sedimentation so after the sec sed secondary sedimentation whatever sludge is there remember that both in both in both the sedimentation tank uh, the sediment is known as sludge it is subjected to sludge di digester and into sludge drying bed and the upper part of the water which is effluent this effluent is now here chlorine is mixed with the effluent and this effluent is the pure water but again it cannot be used for the drinking water purpose it can be used for agriculture purpose or it can be allowed to be uh, drained into the uh, river but in case of uh, here it is used many times it is used for agriculture pur purpose and again this sludge is also important manure for agriculture purpose it, so it can be used in agriculture as a manure so that is modern sewage treatment plan again i repeat screening so here vertical bars are there so large impurities very large impurities in form of the and this, uh, this whatever you can see over here paper dust so it can be removed with the screening then grid chamber here grid is formed large solid particles large solid particles that will be uh, grid uh, uh, from the grid then primary sedimentation uh, it is allowed for six to eight hours sediment is uh, formed known as sludge which is subjected to sludge digester and then sludge drying bed so one important thing is that in sludge di digester there is a derivation of the methane gas so this methane gas can be used as a source of energy also then after primary sedimentation it is subjected to biological treatment and there are two form of the biological treatment trickling filter method and activated sludge process so in modern sewage treatment plant activated sludge process which is using the fans uh, and after that biological treatment final sedimentation for again uh, 6 to 8 hours and after uh, in this biological in this final sedimentation whenever the sewage is reaching the biological oxygen demand has reduced more than 99 percent bod has been reduced more than 99 percent and the sludge is subjected to sludge digester and sludge drying bed and the effluent is treated with the chlorine which can be used for the agriculture purpose this sludge is also it can be also used as a manure in agriculture purpose in severe treatment plant there is a presence of laboratory in after this uh, effluent it is, it is also subjected to laboratory uh, testing in form of the uh, testing of the impurities so uh, so pre treated sewage and post treated sewage it can be compared in the laboratory to to know the biological oxygen demand as well as other chemical uh, chemical which are present in the sewage so again these are the photographs of the sewage treatment plant we have already discussed about this this is sludge digester inside this more uh, big chamber sludge is digested again activated sludge plant then last part is smokeless chula it is not our conventional chula which we are using as a form of the gas in in our uh, uh, kitchen but uh, as you know that in previous days in villages uh, in past days the smoky chula currently also in many villages smoky chula are used and as you are aware of the uh, disadvantage of the smoky chula that it may lead to respiratory illness because of the smoke so smokeless chula it has been designed and it is present in our museum also so that is smokeless chula and uh, it tries to remove the shortcoming of the design of the traditional chula which were used in past days in villages it will lead to uh, less use of the firewood 50 percent less firewood is used and it can be installed for up to four hours four years sorry and uh, with the sum it is it is designed in such a way that adequate oxygen is supplied in burning area continuously and which results in uh, higher higher temperature as well as 80 percent less smoke so, so that is a smokeless chula can you tell me the yojana which is related to using uh, smokeless chula uh, yojana in india one of the yojana which is linked with which is the yojana which is the yojana which is linked with the uh, using smokeless chula government yojana government scheme which is linked with the using smokeless chula which is uh, 
supplying which is supplying to supply smokeless chula or smokeless bond any scheme or any yojana do you know about using smokeless chula or which is supplying gas cylinders to a subsidized rate to the villagers any yojana do you know i am waiting for your reply any yojana do you know not indhan yojana it is named after pradhan mantri pradhan mantri any yojana or any scheme do you know about using this smokeless chula yes ujwala pradhan mantri ujwala yojana so that is for smokeless chula okay so that is all about uh, this topic we have discussed about uh, models of uh, environment uh, models of environment in which we have discussed sanitary well we have discussed about uh, rapid sand filter then this uh, smokeless chula recently sanitary latrine septic tank so many models of environment we have discussed and you can write down in your journal whenever this is available as a recorded video on youtube and i will be i will be giving you this uh, uh, assignment a link of the assignment soon in our group okay thank you very much thank you